Thin here once again. It's time to get into some gaming. I just finished reading a big old thing in an accent about a guy who who was mute. It's totally sense making. I make as about as much sense as Monty Python when they're making no sense, which is not much sense. Hey guys, name's Fen. Well, I said I had half a mind. And I guess there's a guy gonna come there or something? To explore the rest of this floor before I would go and explore the other rest of the other floors. Because, you see, floors are one thing that makes sometimes occasional <laughs> casual OCD people like me do things in a slightly casually OCD manner uh, some of the time. You understand. You understand, punk. All right, so I'm thinking that guy does not spend all that much time here, so I better skedaddle my ass out of his way. By skedaddle, I mean gently tap them air, arrow keys, not arrow keys. The arrow keys would be something pretty funny indeed. They would cause an intentional error for debugging purposes, and it would all be pretty dumb and stupid and... <laughs> Moving right along. That must be why we're not shipping Windows 98 yet. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, now that I'm done with that guy, I guess I can look at another door. Armory. I see everything spelt with a U in it. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's the proper spelling, I guess, which makes me totally not consistent because I keep insisting the proper s pronunciation of Z is Z, even though people in Canada are and Britain are all like adamant that it's not and get into big, huge wars over it. You know, that's what World War Three is going to be about. Zs and Zs, and also, you know, really, really petty stuff that people on the internet just want to smack everybody up, so... <gasps> oh yes, I've got a blackjack! I've got a blackjack! I'm going to town! Oh, nobody's gonna be safe from this stupid piece of crap thing that, like, hits you in the head! I've got a blackjack, I'm gonna kill everybody and knock everybody out! I am letting out my rage! First priest of the order. The blackjack didn't affect that stone block. It's still just as stony as ever. And nobody's around to get smacked. <sighs> so now I'm done annoying everybody by still not being able to get down how to yell loudly while being comedic instead of just grating. Never mind, I'll get it down one of these days. Well, I've got a blackjack. It's not a map, but it does have an ass sound in it, so I guess that's something, because when I write a rap song, I like to overuse the at alliteration. It's all like, uh, you know... My rap's a large hat. It's a hat. What? Almost revealed a cool line casually in one of my videos, picking those arrows up again like a zombie person runner walking away throwing your shoes down. Well... Looks to me like I might want to go some other that away on this here floor. And why were there a bunch of people walking past this door, but now there are nobody? Waiting. Congratulations, sir. How does it feel to be the first victim of my rage in this mission? Huh? I guess it feels a little bit like being unconscious, which is not so much a feeling as a state. They're completely different things, and even you, I'm gonna knock you out too, because I am totally throwing ghosting out the window. I was only doing it as a fair weather, uh, pretending to be loyal kind of thing in order to achieve my own freaking ends. I am such a bastard, can you even believe it? Well, oh ho, so it's one of those special doors that needs an actual key instead of just a pick. That's weird. What a strange concept. What a strange concept. I know, I can take you and your entire body and just stuff you into the lock and unlock the door. That sounds like a good idea, sounds like a good idea. No? Well, I can at least leave you bashed with your head into the door. That sounds pretty scary and spooky and stuff. And, uh, you know, perhaps I can ring the bell for the service and the service, the door will open for my servicement and, and then I will take advantage of its kindness and just walk right on through it. Oh, hey, there, lady. I don't know if you could be just knocked out. Hey, of course you can. Well, this is in fact just a regular loot gold skull and not actually the gold skull of Monstros, which counts as a secret but not loot or something, even though, uh, I don't know. You know, I figured I'm actually in a castle. It looks so much like a mansion instead of a castle that 
I thought I'd been teleported randomly to somebody else's mansion, and it really threw me for a loop there. Now, I'm slightly unable to remember which the hell way I actually went here. Like, did I go down here yet? I don't remember. Hello? Anyone there? Where <laughs> here is... Great. Oh. That's the guy that got alerted earlier, and I'll take my revenge by knocking him right the hell out. You know, ghosting is pretty fun. It makes more tension happen in the game, it keeps it from being too boring. But for some reason, I don't pay attention to that. I guess I'm a boring kind of guy. And therefore, everything I do must match up to my personality exactly, including me have a comically similar pet, and if I was married, I'd have a comically similar <sighs> wife or a comically different one, and we'd always argue and fight, and it would be just absolutely hilarious, and they could make a TV show out of it, because nobody wants, you know, everybody wants to go walking in the park in real life and do all kinds of things that have no drama in them whatsoever, but just niceness and nobody has a problem but if you as soon as you watch something on TV or in fiction all of a sudden everybody wants there to be drama it's a very interesting psychological point that I am actually no joke quite interested in like learning about and exploring and knowing about and, and that such sort of thing because to be fair it's quite it's quite a fascinogen yes it is a fascinogen it's fascinating I don't know where I'm going anymore still well again and you what have we here? Doesn't seem to be any black dogs here. But it looks like a sort of climactic place. Black Frog Tower. Yeah, okay. This almost looks like a final place, so to speak. Yeah, I'm not gonna go here. Okay. But instead, I'm going to try. God damn it, where'd I come in? To uh, find that one door in the basement, I guess that I couldn't open with a key, and maybe I can pick it, but now I'm just lost, so... Who even knows? It looks like some kind of servant's quarters or something. Three apples and cheese. Apples and cheese are oft placed together, and I'm not too sure why. Hmm. Uh, Dear Eliza, I have been working as a servant in this manor for almost a month now, and I like it. Lady Emily is good to her staff. The priests are a bit capricious, and the soldiers have their rough manners, but life is quiet here. Why do I feel uncomfortable? I cannot really explain. There is a strange atmosphere in this place. I know that being close to the Black Frog makes me nervous. It is there, so close, locked in the tower, near the priest's temple. Though there are solid gates between us and the Black Frog, I am worried. I must confess that sometimes I wake up at night in a cold sweat after having nightmares that I cannot remember. Lady Emily is a reserved and mysterious person. And then there's Basil, who follows her like a gigantic shadow and never says anything. He looks at you in such a way that, even though they are hidden behind his mask, his eyes are eating your soul. The man makes me more worried than Lady Emily. I heard that the Sharaka lies beneath the, the castle walls and it chills me to the bones. Sometimes I am sure I hear its grunts. They seem to come from beneath the earth. I was told that a man came to protect the Black Frog. He installed a bunch of pipes and strange machines in the tower. That does not reassure me. I miss you and the people of the village. Your friend, Kezo. Is it Aliza? Hmm. <laughs> Kezo Trap, Kezo Mario World more like. I'm just the super cleverest guy ever today. Wow, look, so many doors. So many doors. This one's a bathroom. There's some toilet paper. I'd like to read the message on that toilet paper, but it's probably scrawled in an ink replacement that I dare not speak the name of. Whoa. <sighs> Alright, back in the territory of this guy. For some reason. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> However, I might be. <gasps> I might be closer to my ultimate goal here, maybe. I mean, I don't know. This window, I can't seem to get up into it. It's sort of. <gasps> <gasps> Come on! Hmm. Come on! I don't think I can push a barrel because they're against the wall and you can't 
bloody guy. If I kill him, I'm gonna make noise. Perhaps I'll just try killing him anyway. Shit. Single overhead swing. Oh, look at me. I walk so fast. Oh, I'm a stupid black beast who walks fast like an idiot. Oh, 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 oh. oh come on. Swing your... Oblivion jiggle. So oh Christ. Look there. Wow, this guy's a massive pain. I should just go and KO everybody else before dealing with this guy because damn. Or I should just follow him and avoid his gaze somehow. Lady Emily's apartment. Well, I'm probably not going to be able to get in there with picks, am I now? Oh. What, this guy just walks out and the beast doesn't care about him? He's just like, hey there, puppy dog. You sure are a growly growler sort. Growler, growler class turret that got replaced with the uh, hypotenuse class for better point defense. God. Well. Quickly run over here. You're still having to use Anyone my there? ghosting skill in some situations. Just rats again. Oh, it's move there. this room. Not good. Now I'm going to have to wait for everybody over here in the entrance to Walmart again. Oh, well. It's going to be pretty crazy. <laughs> Can I interest you in upselling you to a conk on the head? Well, he didn't like that much, did he? I swear. I swear. I... God bugger it. Who's noise it about then? Get out here where I can... <laughs> Can't a guy nap around here? Don't think I don't see you. I ain't blind, you know. <clears throat> Dead, I tell you, as soon as I find you. Violent man, aren't we? That's it, chicky chicky puppy dog fidgety chickadee. Get imagining things now. <laughs> you are bad at pathfinding. You are doing it quite incorrectly and wrong. And also you fail. And other such internet memes that aren't really memes because they're really common and coffee. Now he has to come down again, probably. I don't know. I'm going after him. Dur, 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 dur. Saving the day and all that nonsensical garbage. <sighs> Taking out there? challenge <clears throat> left, right, and northward. It's pretty great. Cat <coughs> in the army. They have real good boots with gold trim to impress the fellas. Now, I recall there actually was something over here, like a locked door or somewhat, that uh, I did I was not previously able to enter due to my lacking lockpicks here, but now I suppose I will be able to, and it might be right over here. Ah, yes, indeed. What could be behind the door? A treasure? The legendary in the back? The unicorn land? Super celestial performance video cards of the 1990s? Oh. Well, everything I asked for is happening. Got my blackjack, got my map. This is all quite helpful, you do understand. You understand. It is quite, 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 quite helpful, despite there being only a map in this room and not else. It doesn't even matter because it's awesome. And it really, you can see there's a little indent in the wall. What really makes me think there's. Oh, hey. Nice! It's a dual slide thwack! And perhaps this will be some form of secret, but not. It's simply an armory under another name, viz. Not a name at all. Hmm. One day a girl arrived. She was young and proud and had the mark of the sign on her forehead. Munstros, the patriarch, welcomed her warmly and, according to the custom of the island, bowed to her and bathed her feet. Sounds kinky. Oh, 
not really. Then he looked at the woman and saw the mark on her forehead, and he realized she was a messenger of troubled souls. He stood before his people and ordered them to worship this woman, because she was sent from the sign and could command monsters. Every man of the people of the island devoted to this woman his mind, his body, ooh, and his faith, and made her the guardian of the sign. Because... They're really freaking lonely dudes. For years, the men of the island no longer had to fear for their wives and children because they cheated on because the Guardian kept everybody, even the unknowing fools, away from the madness of the sign. But one day, a daring young man eluded the Guardian's vigilance and touched the sign. The sign awoke and took the young man because the sign is alive and traps people in its madness. It took the young man and showed him the horrors hidden deep within himself, and the young man went mad. Seeing this, the guardian took the sign and locked it in a mirror, because the mirror is the symbol of a reflection of our souls. She next locked the mirror in a temple dug into a hill so that no man could again fall victim to the madness of the sign. Once done, the guardian spoke to the people and said, I did what had to be done. My destiny has been fulfilled. That said, she threw the key of the temple into the sea. Then she fell asleep and died. She left to the men of the people of the island the task of doing her dishes, of watching over the sleep of the sign, reflection of troubled souls. The spirits say that if the sleep of the sign is threatened again, a girl will come to our land. She will be proud and will have on her forehead the mark of the sign. May the wisdom of our people extend the sleep of the sign. Chronicles of the People of the Island Greetings. Stay a while and listen. Alright. Presuming there's not anything further over here. I don't think there is. Ah, jeez, that guy. Also, stop stuttering. Freaking serious, man. It's not even freaking freaking funny anymore, man. I'm the Slur Talker. You can call me Slur Talker DJ Frobby Finn. It's pretty awesome. I think I may have done most of what I wanted to do up here, and so I'll probably seek out the basement or something? Question? Yeah. What's that? Here's one. Uh, got here's one. Got you. Feel my wrath. Who failed to light your flint? In case anybody's wondering why I keep saying you failed to light your flint, it's a total in-joke that I'm never going to explain because that would just ruin it now, wouldn't it? Come on here. Whatever. Here we are. Actually, though, I better knock anybody out here so they don't all start yelling when I start slashing. And what do you mean when I start slashing? What do I mean? What do you mean? Mean time between failure? I'll freaking tell you if you don't remember. But uh, you probably do remember because it's right over there to my left. <coughs> noise maker. I want to make noise. I want to preclude myself from making noise. Normally I don't knock out sleeping people, but he's just going to wake up. Of course, he's probably going to alert everybody else in a manner. Ha! Good thing, too, because otherwise I would have smashed some wood and made some noise for nothing. Oh, I am the Antichrist of all time. That makes a lot of sense. It started when the beat commenced. Basil. Garrett has escaped. He must not reach the Black Frog. Find that man and destroy him. Leave a message in my house. I want to know all the details. Oh, really? I think I've just unintentionally set off some hmm. kind of... If Basil can access Emily's apartments, he must have a key. I have to steal it from him unseen. Uh Huh. Yeah. I think I'm gonna end it here, but I think I'm gonna reload because that might make it a little not kind of possible on myself or something. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. 
is pretty lame. Anyways, saving in this guy's filth pit here. See you guys next time. Bye for now.